and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> It'll be so good to be away, Harrison, <laughs> even for one night. It's just up the road, though. <sighs> I don't care. <laughs> anyway, it's Grey Gables. It's going to be so special. Uh, well, yeah, when you're at home, you look round and you see all the things that need doing. You do. Oh, a wonky shelf, pile of papers from work, a kettle <gasps> that wants to scale in. I know. And like the calling out to you from across the room. <laughs> hey! Come over here and sort this out. Or emails. I won't be doing any emails, I'm telling you now. I won't even look. No, nor me. Yeah. The hotel room's clean. It's not piled up with chores. <laughs> hey, there's, there's a lot of packing going on here, though. No, oh, it's only what's needed. Look, we're only going away for one night. We don't need kitchen sink. Well, we want to look smart for dinner, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. But all this... But th I mean, what's in this bag th here? That's a little extra something for later. Extra... extra what? Something you might like. What? <laughs> I'm not saying. Go on. No. You have to wait. Something I might like, though. And you know what they say about people who have to wait? No. What? Good things come to those who wait. Well, in that case, I'm your man. And wait I shall. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we have special guests arriving today, Brad. I do. Oliver told me. Harrison and Fallon for their complimentary stay, so be extra nice to them. Extra nice? And the Lord Mayor of Felpersham. What's extra nice? That's Mrs Ruby Cos and her husband, Malcolm. I mean, we're supposed to be nice anyway, you know, smiling and stuff. Oh, well, it's kind of obvious. And carrying bags, but, but I don't get extra nice. Well, keep up with the smiling. Bigger smiles. Oh, uh, not too big. That looks quite sinister. Uh, maybe just longer lasting. And use the correct form of address. What? I looked this up. It's quite straightforward. You had to look it up? Well, it's just slightly different because it's a woman. A woman? One of them's a woman? Mrs Cos is, of course. But dressed as a man? No. Her husband Malcolm is, though. Well, presumably. Uh, and what about Harrison Burns? What do I call him? Oh, just the usual sir will be all right in his case. But he's a sergeant, though. That's nothing to do with it. And Fallon? No, listen, Brad, listen. Be your normal, polite and helpful self. Polite and helpful. But not too casual or intrusive. Not casual, not intrusive. And you call the Lord Mayor my Lord Mayor. Even though she's a lady? Uh, yes, and, and maybe a little bow of the head. Mine. What? My head. Yes, of course your head. I mean, how are you going to bow with someone else's head? Oh, I don't know. It's getting a bit complicated, Lily. No, believe me, it's not. If you just concentrate on the bags, you'll be fine. Uh, room 105 for Harrison and Fallon. Room 114 for the Lord Mayor. And Malcolm, her husband. And Malcolm, yes. Have you got that? Yes, that's great, Lily. Bags and numbers, I can do that. You do all the other stuff, what to call them and all that. Yes, I think that might be a good idea. <clears throat> this is them. No one in the bunch. That's OK, we can cope with that. Go and help them with their cases. Yeah, yeah, but I packed a bigger case. Listen a moment. You never know. Listen. <laughs> Welcome to Grey Gables, my Lord Mayorship, and your lady husband, welcome. Malcolm. What? And my husband, Malcolm. He's not here. Where is he, then? Uh, I think he's gone back to the car. For bags? Should I...? No, no, that's our bag. By the entrance. <laughs> sorry, Brad. We all pitched up at the same time. <laughs> that's all right, ma'am. Uh, Mrs. We're happy to see you all. Uh, yes, indeed we are. However you turn up. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brad. Uh, perhaps you'd like to take the cases while I complete the registration? Right, I can do that, yeah. No, it's all right. Malcolm can bring ours. Yeah, and, and I'll manage ours. No, Sergeant, ma'am. Leave them there. Leave them to me. <laughs> Very keen, your young porter. Yes, isn't he? <laughs> I do like that in a lad. So refreshing. <laughs> Uh, 
this is a bit of all right, don't you think? It's just perfect, Harrison. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, and half a bottle of champagne, too. <laughs> perfect. What did you make of the Lord Mayor? Oh, she seemed nice. I didn't realise who we were talking to at first. Well, nothing posh or superior about her. Just down to earth. <laughs> Brad was a bit nervy. Bless <laughs> all that business with the cases. He was determined to help whether we wanted him to or not. Still, he got it here OK. And he so wants to get things right. <laughs> Which is actually quite... What's up? This is the wrong case. What? It's Brad. He fetched the wrong case. Oh, he hasn't, has he? It, it's not funny, Harrison. This is not our case. So it must be the Lord Mayor's then. So we've got all the regalia and stuff, chains and, and cocked hats and what. Yes, and you know what that means. Well, they've got ours. We have to get it back. Well, they'll, they'll sort it. Now, Harrison, before they open it. All right, why? What's the rush? Oh, you mean... Exactly. Your bag of... Uh, yes. Extras. Well, what was it? Fallon? Costumes. What? Costumes. What sort of costumes? Maid Marian. <laughs> what, and Robin Hood? No, the Sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> Harrison, they could be opening that bag this very second! down to you, I'm afraid, Brad. It is. I'm sorry. I gave you the room numbers. I got the rooms right. We just want it sorted. It's the cases that's a problem. They look the same. But they so obviously aren't the same. They have labels, don't they? They do, yes. Sorry. Look, look, you, you can work out how it went wrong later. Meanwhile, this case here, it, it's not ours. What we want now is for you to return this case and get our own case back. Uh, yes, of course. We'll action that immediately. Thank the you. The sooner the better. It had personal items in it. I, I don't want them going astray. Oh, personal items? I I'm pretty sure it'll be in 114. What sort of personal items? What sort? Well, it might help to know. Uh, no, I Brad, it, it won't. Uh, but if the case is not where we think... Uh, can we just get moving, please? We'll attend to it now. I'm only saying it might well, save don't. Time. Brad, come with me. Right. And bring that case with you. Right. No answer. Ugh. No, 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 that's good. If they're not there, we can swap the cases without bothering them. Well, they're not answering, so... uh, It's not conclusive, though. They might be in the bathroom or something. What? Both of them? Oh, if I could just be sure. I'll find out. Porter, coming in! No, Brad, wait! Brad! Oh, oh for goodness sake! <sighs> not there. What about the bathroom? Door is open. No one inside. They're not there. Did you see the case? Their case? Uh, yes. It was on that stand thing. What is in there? Yes. Well, then why didn't you bring it out? You only said you wanted to know if they were in. We need that case. Right. It's perfectly simple. Get back in there, pick up the case, bring it out here. And if they happen to come along? Oh, just do it. Right. Porter, coming in. <sighs> I've got it. OK. I'm coming out now. Yep. <sighs> There you go. Well done. And it don't look like it's been opened, so that's good. Oh, shut the door. Shut the door. Mission accomplished. Oh, no, wait. What? We have to return their proper case. Open the door. Oh, right. Oh, now, which one was the other one? Which one was the other one? Their proper case. Oh, hang on, just a minute. Listen. Oh, they're coming. What? Who? Oh, look, Malcolm. It's our favourite helpful porter. Ah, oh, hello, my Lord Mayor. Uh, we were just... We had to moving... remove your case, see, your Lordship. Remove our case? We had a call, see, from, from the hotel inspectors. Uh, no. The hotel inspectors? What do they want? Ah, well, that's the thing. No, no, Brad. No, no, it isn't. Uh, you're confusing the issue. I was just checking rooms to see if complimentary chocolates had been set out and yours hadn't. Oh, dear. Uh, no, no, not to worry. Brad here is on the case. Am I? Mm-hmm. As I was just saying, Brad, complimentary chocolates, room 114, one on each pillow. Ah, uh, yes. Right, will do. And the case? Uh, briefly unattended. And as we weren't sure where you were, we were about to move it to a safe cupboard. Oh, Yes, guest security is a priority here at Grey Gables. Well, that is zealous. 
We've just been for a stroll through the grounds. Ah, which I hope you enjoy. Oh, yes. I've been admiring your planting schemes. I like the place. I oh. <laughs> like it a lot. Might be the ideal spot for a ceremonial autumn retreat. What a lovely idea. Perhaps I could talk to someone about that later? Uh, yes, I'm sure that can be arranged. Thank you. And now we'll best be getting change for dinner. Of course. So, our case? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 that'll be this one then, your lordship. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, isn't it? Yes. Allow me to take it in for you. Uh, no, no, we'll manage from here. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. I'm sure we'll see you again before we leave. <laughs> Good move. What was? Giving them the right case. I lost track of which one was which by then. Yeah, me too. What? I just knew I had a 50-50 chance. I thought that was a risk worth taking. So they might have taken the wrong case again? Like I say, 50-50. Oh, I'm having a look. Oh. oh, it's okay. This is Fallon's case. You can tell. Thank the Lord. From one quick look. Oh, trust me, Brad. This is definitely Fallon's case. Cheers. Oh, two words. Mm. Mm. Oh. All's well then, eh? All's very well. Case safely back. Yes. And unopened. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Well, no more than suppose, love. Lily actually told us yes. that they got it back from the Cossie's room and it hadn't been opened. No, you're right. We can... Relax. <laughs> How was dinner, you two? Oh, oh you lady, uh, oh, you, um, please, Ruby. Oh. Well, d dinner was cracking. Ruby, we're uh, just having a nightcap. Yeah. An early nightcap. Oh. Oh, would you um, like to join us? Oh, no, we won't, thanks, Harrison. Malcolm's already gone up. Full day tomorrow. Oh, oh yes, and and you're looking in on the rewilding Ambridge scheme on Friday. So Lily was telling me uh, for Primrose Day. Yes. School workshops and things. Looking forward to that. So, mm. anyway, enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh. As everyone insists on urging us these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we will, Ruby, we will. Ooh. <clears throat> and Maid Marion. Hmm? I'm sorry? Maid Marion. Such an inspiring idea, Fallon. Oh, no, no, I mean, it wasn't. We, uh, no, no, we didn't. really? Quite inspiring. Given me plenty to think about. Night, night, you two. <gasps> Good night, Ruby. Well, she must have opened the case. Must have done. The cheeky cat! Shh. <gasps> Rummaging has been going on. I think this needs looking into. Oh, no, Harrison, we can't. It's already far too embarrassing. Starting with an interview under caution. With. Maid Marion. To room 105, where she'll find the Sheriff of Nottingham waiting for her. Part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, yeah, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, yeah, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I mean, I think the archers has had this immense popularity over the years um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever